Hi, welcome to Jurassic Curiosity. Today is my birthday, and I'm unboxing like a bunch of stuff. In fact, there's even more than this. Try to see right here. So, um, we are going to be unboxing the full Fierce Force Wave 1 um, toys, and we're also going to be unboxing um, this war type, Bumpy. And we already have the. And then when we're done, and then when I unbox this, we're finished with the wave one more time. And then this big in the back is this is basically the same in on this, even though it does have a rotated neck. Actually, I think the first one had that, but but instead of like that claw action gimmick, even though it still has that springing action for the moment, it actually has a battle damage. Actually, it's called battle damage and other strikes anyway, so. Um, let's start off with, um, the... Let's start off with oh, oh, um, the boxes, um, the other boxes down. Let's start with the first box. Because they're like the smallest ones. Um, so I'm gonna start with. Well, not the new one because it's a new one. So I'm trying to save that one for last. Let's start with the Gallimimus. Then I think I'll put the boxes down here. De -de 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 -de, and then we'll focus on the Gallimimus for now. Here's the Gallimimus. I'm pretty sure it's a repaint, right? Um, yes it is. So, the Gallimimus is just a repaint, but I know it's a herbivore, and you're supposed to have a bunch of herbivores. Um, when you click this button, it, like, Becky, it, it, it rams its head down. Um, and then on the back, you can see the other toys for the... Wave one, your force, and then after that, as you see, you click the button, then it does like a ramming action thing, and then after that, let's just open this. So here is the down minus. Now, here's the down minus. Um, yeah. So you just do this, and yeah. Also, the color is a greenish color this time. I think before it was like more brown. This time, the only the only thing that's brown is like its back, and it goes up to the tail. And after that, we also have this like lighter, like very light green. I'm not sure if it's actually green, but it um these like gray kind of look like um these like stripes on its leg. No, it's, it's thigh. So, um, okay. I think that's an, enough to talk about this. Here's for Scalamimus. Even though it's kind of like a savage I, To be honest, I think it actually is a savage strike. You can see in the thing. Same, um, like, same case like the wild dogs. They're basically attacking us. There we go. We're starting with this, um, the sword of the right? Okay, so here's the Sora Pata. Um, there's also, um, this is just a repaint because we also did a video of that other Sora Pata. No! <laughs> and then after that, basically it doesn't have um, anything new because it's a repaint. Um, it just, yeah, it has a different thing to skin. This time it's actually like greenish, like a darker green here and then after that, um, the lighter green here. Um, I kind of like this skin. I feel like it's a bit better than the first one, actually. Also has a green beak for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but the white, the same white spikes. Actually, no, this might be a different white from the first one. Now these two. I feel like we're gonna talk about these a bit more because one of them has a bit of a problem and the other one is a new toy. So, well, I mean like new species. So here is like the Fierce Force, Velociraptor. The thing that I don't understand about this is that it has like no gimmick. Um, what, 
So what does it say at the back of the box? Um, I guess you just like do this. It still doesn't work. Does it spring? No, it doesn't. So I'm not. I don't get what this actually does. I feel like it's more like in a a tad pack with um this thingy. But it's a new mode. The only thing I don't understand is that's a fierce force. Um. Okay, but well, let's just open the box. So here is the Fierce Force Velociraptor. Um, more like it's not Fierce Force, like Savage Strike. It's more like an, wait. Actually has an Agitimic. No, it's just springing. So basically springs. I didn't even realize it actually has an Agitimic. No, not an action gimmick, a spring thing. Like, if we put like this, and then you remove it, it more like just, it springs basically. Even though it doesn't have like a, really a, any button to like do that. But still, I mean like, at least it has something to spring with. And then the last one, which is a completely new species. Oh no, it's more like a savage strike mode than Fierce Force. Meshitasaurus. Meshitasaurus. I think it's trying to pronounce. Yeah, Meshitasaurus. This Meshitasaurus is um, a new species. Um, some of you might complain that it has weird teeth, but that's actually how it is. And at the back, you see. Like, um, if you press that, then does it open its wait? Wait, if you close this mouth, does it open its mouth? No, so it's like it just pushes its neck forward, it doesn't actually open the mouth, but more like if, it, if it's sniffing someone, like, so it's like you put its head forward, you press the button, like. It's sniffing. I kind of get that, and then after that, it roars. You just open the mouth, and then, Rawr! <laughs> and then after that, let's get this out of the box. I pretty, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be uh, that the action gimmick is gonna work better outside of the box. Um, yes. Oh, I don't want to chop the neck off. Ah. So here's the Meshitasaurus. Meshitasaurus. Um, okay, so it has rotated. It can is it 360? Yeah. 360 arms. Um 360 legs? Wait, no. Wait, no. Let me check. No, not all the way. Okay, so no non-360 legs. Um, do it has a no, it doesn't have a um, it can't, well, basically, it can't move the tail, basically. I mean, like, the end, you can kind of move it, but, no, you can't actually, like, rotate the whole thing, just like the Velociraptor, see? So. But the new action gimmick, where it launches its neck forward, wait, no, its head forward, it's pretty cool. So, I'm going to just put it there, ah, ah, no, okay. Yes. Now the next one is the one that we have to complete. That we have to unbox so I can actually complete the vortex wave one. And here's Bumpy. Actually, I forgot the Ankylosaurus Bumpy. So it sees like it, it slightly moves at the first, then kind of moves at the second, and then after that third, it goes like this. So it's more like a swipe. Like that. Back, yeah, 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 it does the thing. Um, and then after that, the other ones, which we have made a video of. Yes, Limbo and Tyrannosaurus. And, uh, da, 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 da. Here. 
here's um, the new Ankylosaurus, which is bumpy, adult bumpy actually. So here it is, and um, oh, I actually made the um, the horns on on its head actually asymmetrical, like not the same way, and that's how it's supposed to be. Yay! So, um, actually, this is not painted, like, at the side, you can, you might be able to see it, I'm not sure, but it actually doesn't have the paint on the side of the action pyramid, so, but I want to complain about it, even though you switch it like that. Oh, it's I forgot how to do Wait, this? The second one, and then after that, it switches to the Actually, you can't move it to the other side when it's, when when you don't actually put the action in your hand. But yeah, and it actually sounds like bumpy noises. Um, for some reason, the paint from here is actually different from the paint on here. Um, it's still fine for me, and it has some um, paint here, same with the other side, and I really like that. Um, it has a 360 head, like the other angle sources. Uh, um, yeah, I think that's all we can say for Bumpy, because we've already talked about the new, the new Vortac gimmick, and now the big one. This one, ah, wait, I can't adjust you. Yes, um, so this one's too big, so I actually have to put all the toys down on the ground here. But it is a big box, and really, it can't fit with the toys there. And the toys are like little, kind of. So I mean, like this is gonna be super big. The in, the battle damage in Nominus Rex. Um, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna have to fast forward this. Yay! And I drop this Nominus Rex out. There's the Indominus Rex. The new Indominus Rex, kinda at the same time, it's basically the same Indominus with a slash on the side. And though this gimmick is still in the same spot, even though it actually does a different. Thing. Yeah, it, um, it's more like the extreme damage T Rex. I don't think you've seen that video yet. Um, but yeah. I see there's some different noises. I think the regular Dom there I think the regular Nomnus only had like three 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 roars in total. Actually no with the with, with the with the thing it still has the sprint thing. It still sprints with the sprint for the action gimmick on the old one. But I think this action gimmick had like two like um two more so maybe in total five anyways like this indominus rex is super big and that's why the box is big i guess and then I, feel like, I feel like there's a bunch of rules for this so i can't go all over the wars yes um yeah, so yeah, here's the Indominus Rex. Um, yeah. It, it also has, like, um, this rotated, this rotated neck, which you can, like, move a bit, but not, um, all the way, like, 360 or a ball joint. Um, the Indominus have more feathers here, I'm not sure. Um, also... Yeah, there's also a scanning thing. Um, I'm not gonna do that in this video. And it also has their rotated arms, like the old one. I think. Yeah. Um. 
Then it doesn't have any movement on the tail, but it's still the back, like that. You know, um, it doesn't move the head. It doesn't move the head, even though it has a bunch of pores for this. Um, it has big feet. Yes. Um, and I think that's all we have to say about the from Anonymous. That's all you saw on the table from the from the, the beginning. But there is actually going to be even more. Ooh. What's inside?